Hello and welcome to part 5 of this tutorial, how to turn a simple ceiling design into a production drawing. In part 5 I'll show you one method for annotating a drawing like this. We'll then finish up doing a trial plot to PDF to test whether we made the right choices of text size and line thicknesses. So uh, we we'll now go to um, putting some notes in. So what notes do we need for this drawing? Uh, basically we need to tell people reading the drawing uh, what these things are, this tile, what this thing is, what the track is. Um, and we'll probably need a room name and um, I'll also put in a, you know, the fact that it's a reflected ceiling plan uh, at 1 to 50. Um, some of that information would go in the title block but I'm just going to put it down, down here um, because we're not going through the title block. So let's put in the easy one first which is a sort of title and um, while you weren't looking I created uh, an extra layer um, called titles which enabled me to use a thicker pen uh, 0.35 so we just want to make sure we're in that uh, layer um, move from dimensions to titles and I've set up a few sizes here we'll use 3.5 as a, a text size multi-line text create a box and off we go um, upper upper floor gallery reflected ceiling drag that around. Uh, now the notes. Um, what we'll do is um, get an arrow pointing to this whole block uh, and give that block a name. So C, call it C, little block of stuff runner. Uh, call this one C1 which uh, will represent those ceiling tiles. Um, can point to this and call it C2 and C2 can be the the artificial roof light and C3 can be the uh, lighting track. Now you could do this, you could actually write notes on the drawing uh, but what I'll do is um, just code it up, uh, it'll be slightly easier to, to manage and in order to manage these big blocks and be able to point them it's quite good to put a um, a cross through the block of stuff uh, I'll just show you what I mean in a moment which in and that moment is now uh, so we'll um, just flick this over into model space We'll create a a new um, layer for these uh, crosses, and they're going to be in a broken line. So I'll just call the layer broken line. Let's do it in dark grey. Uh, we don't want this to stand out, so um, with the thinnest possible line, 1, 3. And um, I want it as a broken line. Uh, 
I'll make that layer current and off we go put these lines in you'll see what I mean in, now we'll see what I mean when I do them there we go Same for here, for these um, artificial roof lights. And that'll just help uh, the drawing to read a bit better um, when everything's on the drawing and you're trying to refer to stuff. So we go back to paper space to put in our, our code, code words, uh, code letters. Uh, paper space, where are you there? What size? Pen. Um, this dimensioning style is going to be too small. So have we got one at 2.25? Yes, we have. Um, what thickness pen? Um, uh, we probably need a, a different um, size uh, than the notes there, which the pen thickness is going to be 0.18, and the. Um, the titles layer uh, 0.35 we want uh, say a notes 2.5 layer so here we go new layer notes 2.5 so So that's we've got notes at um, where the, the size of the note is uh, 2.5 high. Oh, let's have this colour. I haven't got it before. So I said earlier we can change all these things after we've uh, seen how it prints out. So what I'm going to do is just put um, these code letters. In and it's possibly not big enough, I think. So, uh, and I've also got it on the wrong layer. And got, so let's put that right. Um, select this. Make the text size bigger. That's three point five, and we'll get it on to. Let's get it on to the right layer uh, as well. So this one we can copy. down over this bank of tiles so we've got to the point where we've put all the, the code words in uh, C1, C2 and C3 we just need a, a legend now or a key uh, I won't go through this in lots of detail I prepared one earlier uh, which I'll just uh, <coughs> put on now so you can see uh, a table with um, all that you need to know about each it needs to be specified on the drawing about <coughs> these uh, products that are going on the ceiling <coughs> so that essentially is your drawing we've taken a single line simple ceiling design and turned it into uh, the basis of a working drawing yes you have to add title blocks and quite a lot of other bits of information on the side of the drawing so disclaimers and, and whatever you need to do uh, but this is we've achieved what we need to uh, we'll now just test 
this by printing it to PDF and to give us some idea of whether the line weights we've chosen are in the right league or not. So print PDF A3 uh, 1 to 1 we're not we the drawing is already scaled in paper space we don't paper space we don't have to play around with the scale as we transfer as we go from we output from paper space into the plotting uh, sequence uh, but we will need to do something with the pen style now they've got a built-in one called monochrome which is the easiest thing to use here so everything prints out in black and um, we've set our pen thicknesses elsewhere in the process so in that dial layer in the layer dialog box um, preview seems to be more or less all right uh, oh um, something funny's happened with this text here um, seems to have turned all the multi-line text or, or all the text into to, to vertical I don't know what's going on there but let's actually print it uh, and see what happens See that it has uh, <clears throat> when you zoom in, it has picked out line thicknesses, uh, so that should be all right as it goes through the printer. Um, what I can see from this is first we've got to sort out why that these have flipped over to being vertical. I won't bother you with that, it's just a technical thing about AutoCAD and obviously it can be solved uh, by going back through the thing. But the main thing is, have we, is the, is the drawing looking right, you know, looking so it conveys the information it needs to, in other words does it read easily, can you see what's going on? And I think the answer to, to that is, well at this screen scale and not necessarily because it doesn't pick out the line thicknesses. but um, as you zoom in you can see that it has that the line thicknesses are there um, and it would just actually be a question of putting this through the um, the plotter um, the printer uh, and making sure it came out okay um, and there is with all drawing there's a bit of there's always a bit of trial and error as you create your own settings and standards and styles um, unless your office has already set all these things up for you uh, but I think this has sort of shown you uh, what you need to play with and at what stage you need to play with it and um, hopefully uh, you're, you're set up to do your own drawings now so thank you very much for listening